Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Code of Princess. In the last episode, we fought face to face against the great Admiral Baku Jupongi, and we discovered that he had a secret rendezvous with our very own Ali long and long ago. But that is long gone now, so since he has joined the Queen's army. But now that he has been defeated and he is now fully aware of what Queen Destiny is doing, things might be a change in. Let's see what happens next when we go to the tower. Now I'm in the mood for a character that I actually know how to play as, so we're gonna go to Lady Zozo. Oh, I love the song so singing much. Oh my god. I could just gush about Code of Princess music all stinking day. Like, I've used it over the years in a lot of videos, and people are always just like, that sounds amazing, what is it, what's it from? I'm just like, it's Code of Princess, the greatest game ever, you should play it for yourself. And look, these are like, tougher enemies, I think. Nah, they might be weaker enemies, so it's like, this is like the same area as Marco Neko, and like, Zozo's just completely obliterating everyone. But yeah, that's just because she's so stinking awesome. Let's see if you can just get rid of the tree dude, or the hairy old man, as Zozo calls him. Uh, apparently there are no bosses this time around, so we gotta get rid of everyone. When they say defeat all enemies, they quite literally mean defeat all the enemies. Let's see if we just zap, 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 zap away. Hey, give me the, give me the mega laser, the Kamehameha, brah, ha, ha. Give me laser. There we go. Let's do that, and we're good. I remember Zozo just being like, uh, if I become too spam happy with her magic, then it could be deep doo doo time, but hopefully that won't happen. I like how I just lock on the bomb and just uh, rolls away. Defeat all enemies, just go over here. She runs pretty quickly. I remember Zozo being super slow naturally, but uh, since the stats are not, no longer my control, uh, her speed's not too terrible. She's known for, not known for her speed normally, but uh, it seems to be alright. She can make do with what she's got. Get rid of these guys. Come on, we get that laser in there. There we go. Get out of here. That'd be nice. Uh, just do a little jump. Well, yeah, her uh, dodging back thing is pretty small compared to Allie's, who's just able to like do a bunch of backflips and everything like that. Uh, just get through here. So, what have you guys been up to lately? I know, like, I've got a lot of stuff to update you on and whatnot. Of course, uh, Blade Strangers came out, which I'm so stinking excited for, or as I've been referring to it as Code of Princess 2. It's a fighting game. Like, in all honesty, it's a fighting game, and I'm not super knowledgeable on those, so I don't really have that much to say about it. it unfortunately, the story mode in it is not as advanced as I was hoping it would be. Uh, I guess it was just standard fighting game fare. Uh, apparently, though, from everyone else that has been talking about it, it's been getting like pretty good reviews and uh, just good reception overall, so that's good and dandy that people are liking it and having fun with it. I'm sure the fact that Isaac and Shovel Knight are playable characters is attracting people to it, uh, which is very good because it definitely deserves the attention. But like in terms of the playable characters, uh, like they have Code of Princess characters in it. They have Solange, Ali, Master T, and Lion Gate, which is just very awkward. I don't know why Zozo and Allegro aren't there, and I don't know why how Master T made it in. It's just really seeming weird character choice. Maybe he was like a favorite of the developers or something like that. I don't think no. Uh, just get some damage in. Zozo's dangerously close to dying, which is not good. I should probably get out of here. Uh, you could just. I'm running out of HP because I'm poisoned. Uh, is there anything here for me? Oh, there's more enemies over here. Uh, get away! Get away! I don't want to fight you all at the same time. This guy's just following me, but he won't uh hop up to my rail for some reason. Maybe he can't go in the back rail. I don't know. Uh, you could just stay back here, fight him one at a time, and just wait for uh my HP to slowly go back up. But I don't think I can rely on that all that much. Uh, just keep on attacking him, and uh-oh, he's turned around. Okay, good. Good thing I dodged that. Uh, just get to the end of the map so he can't get behind me. And eventually, we're good. I'm a pro at fighting games, guys. Uh, now I need to defeat those other two enemies without dying. Easier said than done. Uh-oh, they all left. Maybe that was the boss. Four enemies. Oh, geez. This is going to be interesting. It's like, I haven't played this game with low-level characters in so long, so it's interesting. Even though I know how to play the game and play these characters, I'm just left with these uh, less-than-desirable stats. And they're also not my choice, either. Okay, what am I complaining about? Just murder that stinking dude in one stinking hit. Uh, just do that again, Zozo. I'd very much appreciate it if you could. How did you do that before? That was crazy. Uh, let's see. Get that in there. Thank you. Uh, we're running a bit low on magic. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, this is awkward, this is awkward, this is awkward, this is awkward. Oh, I almost bit my tongue. That was almost really bad. 
We do this as long the bad dude's not gonna be doing any damage, he's gonna be doing his little suckage attack, which doesn't actually do anything, just draws me near him. Uh the bat's gonna run away. They are not, so just have to take care of them ourselves. It'd be very unfortunate if we beat the giant robots and then didn't beat the little bats, so let's not have that happen. Uh just get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Uh come on, give me a lock on, give me a lock on, thank you. Uh, don't have enough to do that attack. Unfortunately, with Zozo, when she uh, runs out of magic, she becomes not useless, but just a lot of stuff becomes restrained. But we didn't have to worry about that because we made it through. And of course, now they drop a magic herb, and it heals HP in this game, of course. So this is the Tower of Ren. The scriptures say that no one who enters the tower ever comes out alive. Huh? You didn't tell us that earlier! Would you prefer to battle the Queen herself? We don't have a choice anymore. Time to dust off my thief skills. They might come in handy here. Look at Zozo, she's just like, oh! She's like, oh, uh, it's a tower. We got ourselves a lot of level ups! And we unlocked new character, Kobold! And Iron Golem. Up next, Omble rises again! Oh goody, Omble's back! So, if we're gonna fight the King of Comedy, then we gotta have our own King of Comedy on our side, and that, of course, is Allegro! I also just want an excuse to play as Allegro again, because if it were up to me, I'd play as him throughout the entire game and I would look super awesome. But I can't, so, oh well. At last! Omble has found me. Hey, it's Tweedle Dummer. You know, I liked him better when he had a partner. He shouldn't try going solo with this act. I am Sergeant Ambo, and I am here to avenge Argent Sum. Wait, did he seriously die? So prepare to tremble before Ambo. Wait, I mean, prepare to tremble before Ambo. Uh, you gotta wonder if that was actually part of the script, or if the voice actor just messed up the line they kept it in because they thought it was funny. Who knows, but whatever, we gotta fight Sergeant, or Argent, um, I don't know, I'm so confused in myself, I don't even know what to call him. We're up against the other dude that we didn't kill in the previous chapter. I don't know, like, why have all the other characters, we didn't kill Jupongi, we didn't kill, like, anyone else that we're fighting, they just, like, get knocked unconscious, but just specifically Amble and Samble, they get murdered. I have no idea why, and, oh yeah, I spoiled that we're gonna murder Amble right here and now. Whoopsie doozy! Well, at least they'll be happy together in the afterlife, because, like, they're the ultimate OTP, even more so than Solange and Ali. Amble and Samble are the ultimate dynamic duo. If I could get rid of these dudes, oh jeez. Uh, Amble might be over to the left right now, so that's why I'm sort of avoiding that area right now. Uh, let's see what we got. We go over here, eat that herb. Let's see, is he over there right now, or is it just like, is it fixed a little bit like in... Yes, okay, so I believe in the 3DS version he is already here and you'd have to fight all the enemies at once, but they switched it up a little bit just because they wanted to make it a bit easier, so I don't have to stay on one side of the screen thinking I don't want to activate the boss on the other end. So we're just left with all these enemies, and then once they're all gone, then I'll fight the boss one-on-one. -on -one. Which is a lot more convenient, though it was a lot more cool back in the 3DS days how I could kick their booties all at the same time. Uh, let's get some electric guitar action in here if I can. Unfortunately, I can't. Just keep on doing the combo thingy. Just get over there if I can. Get Allegro out of the middle. He is not the cream in this Oreo uh, entourage. Ugh. Keep on doing that. Keep on doing that. Keep on doing that. And that. Okay, good. Do the zoom. I said do the zoom. Do the zoom. It's so weird being given a challenge with Code of Princes again because, like, I'm just so used to level 99 happiness and stuff. That's sort of why I don't like playing, uh, practicing games in advance when, uh, LPing them because it's good to be informed on what I'm supposed to be doing and everything, but I like getting to re-experience a game again, and sometimes that might not work in my favor because I might not like a game as much as I remember liking it. But with this, I like being given this challenge and sort of just rediscovering the game, trying to learn it all over again. So it's really fun, and I enjoy it like that. So, uh, they still here as they are. I did not- Oh, I shouldn't have grabbed that herb. I don't think items disappear on the field after extended periods of time, so I could have just kept it there and had a free heal later on, but whatever. Let's see if we can get- Yes, we get that baseball swing. How do we do the combo attack with him? He's just gonna, just gonna stand still and hold on the A button, then he does that big old wombo combo kick. 
So Lego is actually pretty good with physical attacks, though you wouldn't expect it at first. He's gonna stand still and use them, and hopefully he'll get the opportunity to survive. Okay, you forced my hand. I didn't want to use the burst attack, but here we go. Just keep on doing that. And eventually they'll go down. It wouldn't hurt for me to try grinding up in previous levels. I don't really want to do that. Uh, if we have certain episodes later on where I keep dying a bunch of times, then I'll probably do off-screen training. But for now, we only had that one instance with Marco Neko where I just ran out of time because I was too weak. I couldn't finish them quick enough. Which is kind of funny, though. So I'm fine with how things are right now. It's still challenging, but I'm still making it out. No problemo. And just keep on getting rid of these fools. Like, we're just... Piling them. Like, that's what it feels like. I don't know what else to compare to other than, like, making a salad or something like that. We just keep, like, flopping them around with our attacks. Uh, I can get that item. I dodged out of the item. That's interesting. Uh, hitting them. Uh, I like how he hits his booty in the air. I love watching other people play this game that, like, haven't played before. Like, a friend of mine, Secret Fury, was streaming it once, and she was just a big fan of the booty bump attack, and she had no idea, like, how it was supposed to work. Also, the fainting attack. Down B with Lego just has him faint, where he's invincible to damage, but you can't move. So, you just sort of hope that they run away, but, oh, he gets up on his own, not that happening, <laughs> that's a bit awkward, uh, let's do that, and eventually, someone's gotta go down, let's, let's lock onto someone so I can actually, like, keep track of people's HP, and I'm sure you're probably getting sick of that guitar riff, that, uh, it gets old after a while, I'll admit, uh, though, like I said, you could change the audio in settings, you could change it so the sound effects don't happen if it gets really annoying for you, hearing everyone call out their attacks and all that jazz. But whatever, we are here to fight Omble now! Sorry, do that, lock on! Oh jeez, oh jeez, do, do that, do that, do that, come on, get in there, yeah buddy! Do the zoom, and that, and that, okay, come on. Just me and him one-on-one. -on -one. Wish Amble and Samble were here together, because they're super hilarious when they're together, but oh well, we killed one of them. And I just keep doing that, do the zoom as I call it. Uh, we didn't want to do the electric ball thing, but it works all the same. Uh, let's see if I could do physical attacks. Uh, just not giving me the chance. Get up, Allegro. I lost! I died?! Man, I really gotta start focusing on my HP. Okay, back to the fight with Omble. Let's get fully healed, and I got that other herb with me right there. I unfortunately used all of my bursts, so that's gonna be kind of unfortunate I can't use them. Hopefully I won't need them. Let's just get locked on, then we go get into action. Or not, get out of here, get out of here. Let's do that, okay. Let's see if we can get a good lock on thing. Originally I was thinking if I ever got a game over that I would switch to a different character every time I would like be forced to choose someone else, but... Jesus Christ, Omble! I'm sorry I killed your partner! I'm sorry! I liked him too! He's a cool guy! I really wish I could have kept him alive! It wasn't my choice, that was the game desires, I don't understand why. Oh god, get out of here, get out of here. Just do that. Get out of here. My god, I don't remember being so stinking powerful. I remember being stuck on the Jupongi fight for a million stinking years, not the Omble fight. Oh, now I'm already down to like minimal HP. Uh, do that. Uh, I just I don't like this. Oh, I don't like it. 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 Okay, and I'm dead. Cool. Awesome. Well then, attempt number three. Three. Here we go. Attempt number three. Now I should remember that using Allegro's down down A allows him to replace all of his MP with HP, so worst comes to worst, I could fully heal myself. Let's get that uh, lock on in real quick. Changing the rails uh, gives you a good opportunity to just lock on someone really easily and to uh, get a quick attack in because they gotta waste a bit of framing uh, to get back into place when they uh, switch the rails and stuff, and they uh, very rarely do enemies switch rail rails uh, before you. They pretty much just stay locked on to you at all times. Unless, like, a big swarm of enemies, but when it's a boss fight like this, then, uh, you don't have to worry about them switching rails all that often. And things are going a lot better this time around. Uh, I should not say that loud. Uh, go down here, down here. Let's see if we can get it locked on. Any minute now, buddy. Humble. Okay, then. There we go. Uh, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. It was a trap! It's a trap! Get in there. God darn it. Okay, we got the electric ball. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's go in the middle. 
getting locked on. I don't know what that wicked laugh was. I don't know what that was all about. And I wasted my final burst. Ugh. Raven, get rid of this guy. He's like sort of at half health. Just keep on going. Do that. Raise the attack. And see if we can get some drop kicks. Get the drop kicks or not. Go down, go down. I like how he like looks at like he's uh, swinging the guitar like a baseball bat. Uh, do that. Uh, we got a 69 in there. Maybe that means we're the chosen ones or something like that. I have no idea. Technically, there's a 69 in every episode, I guess. Uh, just a uh, matter of whether or not we notice it or not. Come on, come on. We're, we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this time. Do the attack up, and da, 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 da. and the zoom, and the zoom again. And hey, guess what? Three zooms and you're out. Sambal is humbled. Dear Sambal, we will be reunited shortly. Look on the bright side. Now you two can go annoy people in the afterlife all you want. Jeez, Allie! General Lion Gate will avenge me. Nothing can prepare you for his wrath. Avenging is what he does best. We should get out of here before Lion Gate shows up. Onward and upward, men! Who about the women? But jeez, we seriously murdered Amble and Samble and nobody stinking cares. I don't know why they're so insignificant that, like, they're just okay to be butchered. And we unlocked Amble as a playable character! Hooray! Oh, well, at least we could play as him in multiplayer mode so we can remember his legacy. But yes, now it is time for us to destroy the Empyrean Stone. We have made it into the tower. And there's nothing else left for us to do but to do the dirty deed. Guys, I think I found it! It's a bit larger than I expected. Probably so people like me don't try to steal it. This is my time to shine. Be careful! I call upon the battle beasts of legend. Animal spirits, give me your strength. UMA! Stance number 48. This is the coolest thing I have ever seen. UMA! UMA! Lend me the might of the heartbroken badger. Uh, you gotta have a stronger stance than that up your sleeve, right? Guys, we need to cheer him on! UMA! 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 Why, I'm The friskiness of the frustrated penguin. The sheer disregard for other people's feelings of the territorial alpha goldfish. Oh! I doubt even my monarch butterfly kisses could break this thing. Impossible! Then it is my turn. Into Galaxy Blade, split the heavens, shooting star technique. Huh? Double impossible. This is unfortunate. That reminds me, the scriptures say the stone cannot be destroyed by human hands. Why didn't you say that earlier? All right, Zozo, get in there. It's kind of important. Be silent, child, and don't question your elders. Well, this operation's a bust. Back in Deluxia, Father once told me this sword can restore balance to the world. It has power over history itself, he said. Like this stone, the gods gave the sword to mankind as a gift. Father knew its importance. That's why he entrusted it to me. The gods made that sword? If the sword wasn't made by human hands, it might be just the thing we need. As a sage, I must concur with this reasoning. Now smash it to pieces! Stand back! It's time to see what the Deluxe Caliber can do! Such a powerful blade. I cannot allow the stone to be destroyed. Brother! Schwartz, is that you? I have no sister. 
Now hand over that sword at once. It's me! Snap out of it! Solange, get away from him! If you will not give me the sword, then you must die. Men, kill them all! Spare no one! He's ruining Operation Destroy the Stone! <laughs> Battle foreshadowing grunt. If he is my lady's brother, be careful not to end his life. Oh, just because he's the brother of the main protagonist, he is allowed to live even though he's trying to kill us. What about humble ensemble, huh? What did they do to deserve to die? Huh, whatever. Yes, the mysterious masked man is actually Solange's brother. Oh my golly gee. Okay, though, in the game's defense, we never actually met Lion Gate, so there was never a situation where Solange saw Lion Gate and was like, Who is that masked man? He looks familiar and stuff. No, there was never a moment like that, just that his mask ever so conveniently broke off the same time that we met him, but that really didn't mean anything to us. It was just like, oh cool, we see a character with a mask on, and he loses the mask and stuff. So I guess that was kind of cool. My god, everyone's so vicious! I should probably go ahead and do some off-screen training in the next episode. Uh, just hurry and get rid of this fool. I don't know if I can, if I just remember how to play this game, maybe. I don't know if it's a, ma a combination of not knowing, remembering how to play the game and also just being underleveled as heck right now. So maybe that's it. Maybe the 50% experience thing is really taking a toll on the characters, and I should probably do more off screen training. It didn't completely eradicate it like I thought it was going to. I could just wait here. I thought it healed over time. No, it does not. How lame. Uh, by the way, that little emblem right there underneath the Empyrean Stone, it looks sort of like a Smash Ball. Oh, hello! It looks sort of like a Smash Ball if you just move the top, the vertical line to the left or the right a little bit. It's Code of Prince is confirmed for Smash Ultimate. Oh my god, so incredible it's actually happening. And yeah, there's no way I was going to win this. Let's try this again! Round two, Electric Boogaloo. Uh, let's see if I can lock onto him. Slange. Just go away again. Uh, maybe if I mention Smash Bros. will come back. He's super sneaking quick. Uh, get the lock on. Thankfully, Slaunch has a very good reach with her lock on. Uh, if I can actually attack, though, that'd be nice. Use the big circle of doom. They both have big circles of doom. Oh, they got sparkly balls. That of siblinghood. Or something like that. Uh, it's like the sisterhood of the traveling pants, except Solange doesn't wear pants, so it's like the sisterhood of the traveling a handkerchief that's somewhat wrapped around me, but not really, and we pretend that it's clothing. Whatever! Let's see if we just get rid of this fool. Uh, is he not even locked on anymore? I think that got worn off. I did not mean to do that. Quit kicking me in the face, you jerk! Oh, just stop being a jerk. Thank you. I mean, to use my third burst right then and there, and it's going to be very much regrettable that I did. So I'm just doing no damage to this dude. I gotta get leveled up more. That is the moral of the story. Get the fruit leveled up. Part of me wants to go ahead and off-screen train right now, but no, I don't want to do that like the middle of an episode, brah. Uh, let's see if we do that. Come on. Just go back down here. If we can or not, let's try this again and see what we can do today. This isn't working, I'm very angry. I'm gonna have to level up off screen, hooray. Give me a minute. <laughs> uh, we are back. Now before you say anything, before you say level 27 is way the heck overkill, I did not need to off-screen drain that stinking much to win this fight. I came back and tried to do this fight at level 22, it didn't work. I came back to do this fight at level 25, it didn't work. So now I'm doing it at level 27, and I will surely not have it work again, I'll come back and do it at level 30, so I don't even know I'm bothered recording right now. I'm just expecting it at this point, because I've done this fight a million stinking times at, right up to this point. And by the way, you can hold down the shoulder buttons during cutscenes to speed them up so you can speed through them, you don't have to watch them multiple times, because having to watch the UMH here over and over and over again, that would be painful, for considering how many stinking times I had to do this fight over. 
Oh my god, we are fighting stinking Lion Gate, or Schwartz as we know him now. Like, I understand the Lion Gate part being like a mysterious name that he gives himself to like disguise his identity or whatever. But where the heck does Joe come from? Like, is that just his alter ego, or is that like just Queen Destiny having a very weird sense of humor or something like that when naming her brainwashed minions? I don't stinking know, and I don't stinking care. I just want to get rid of this guy so I can continue on with the game. I never thought I would get rage filled in a Code of Princess LP, but lo and behold, here I am, because I apparently have no idea what this game is about. But the thing is, is just that my main method of defending was always using the burst attack, because the burst in the 3DS version, you could use it an infinite number of times, it was just as long as you had MP, you were able to use it. But in this game, you can only use it three, three times at most per a battle and once it's gone it's gone so it's only available for like a limited amount of time so it's very much uh nerfed in that regard so i have to learn how to get good for lack of a better term if you could stop comboing the heck out of me you stinking jerkish sack in a can yeah you're not just a jerkish sack you're not just a jerk in a can you are a jerkish sack in a can that is how annoying you are. And the burst effect is like little to no uh, help with uh, it because he stuns, it doesn't stun him all that often. And there you go, Jesus! That should not have been that stinking difficult. It's been like three stinking hours I was at this. <sighs> we didn't even get an end of the battle cutscene. Whatever, level up all these fools. Look at all these weirdos getting level ups they don't deserve and stuff. Yeah, get all them level ups. Yeah, delicious, delicious level ups. Oh my god, that should not have been that difficult, my god. Now that that is finally stinking taken care of, Solange meets a knight she thinks is her long lost brother. Didn't we already come to the conclusion that he is the brother? Like, uh, whatever, I don't stinking know. Just go to possession, and you know what, Solange, I just want to level you up a bit more so I don't have to use you again, because like, the crummy thing is, I know for a fact that if I was using Allegro during that fight, I would have been able to do it at a lower level, but my god, that should not have been so difficult. So, Zalange, let's just finish this up, this little stinking chapter with your stinking brother that you have sexual tension towards, or at least I imagine that, because the cutscenes lead me to believe that. Whatever! Go ahead and do Solange and get the hecky out of here. Are you alright? It's me, brother! How foolish, children of man. I am the guardian of the Empyrean Stone. Prepare to die. As if it wasn't bad enough to fight him once, now we gotta fight him stinking again, but now just in a shinier version, which is probably more powerful and stuff. I am not doing any stinking off-screen training from this nonsense, because I refuse to lose. You stinking shiny sack in a can? Yeah, you're not even a shiny can that is naturally shiny and would have reason to be shiny. You're a sack that's unnaturally shiny, it's very confusing, and you're withheld inside of a can that has no shininess to it. It is just very awkward all around, and you have no right to be kicking any other booties anymore. Because all the booty kicking will be in my possession, so that I don't have to deal with any more nonsense anymore, and I can continue on with the stinking adventure! I don't know where this is coming from, but what the fruit ever? Oh, I was, almost, I was so stinking close. I should not have kept on spamming burst right there. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get out of here. No, 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 no. I refuse to lose and do off screen training for this thing. This is just a stronger version of a boss I already beat. <sighs> get the fruit out of here. Get out. <laughs> Oh my god! I was not expecting you to get angry in a stinking Dakota Princess LP, but here you stinking go! Schwartz! Uh, uh, Solange? What, what the heck are you wearing? Hey! This is the latest formal wear from the Capitol! The code inside me disappeared. The Guardian code. Did you destroy him? 
Was there any doubt? I mean, we got a princess, a samurai, a sage. He didn't stand a chance. There are no further obstructions, my Lady Solange. Now is the time to destroy the stone. Hold on. If you do, we'll lose magic and all life will suffer. The Empyrean Stone is the cause of the monsters in this world. No, we need to defeat the Queen. We can't destroy the stone. We already weighed the pros and cons. Surprisingly, destroying the stone won out. Brother, why can't we destroy it? My lady, can we truly trust him? He was one of the Queen's generals. There has to be an explanation for that. Right, brother? I only got close to the Queen so I could make my move onto steel. The fallen angel? Dios Diablos de Steel. Cast out of the heavens for eternity and a day. That's just a fairy tale, right? Far from it. I discovered an old scripture passage years ago in the castle. De Steel turned her back on the gods and was exiled to the underworld. But eventually she escaped. With an army of demons behind her, she declared war on mankind. She nearly destroyed our world, but our ancestors used the Empyrean Stone to repel her. After seven days of fighting, De Steel was finally beaten. She disappeared from our world, and we had peace for centuries. But she never truly left. Not fully. A piece of her still clings to life. The gods discovered that the Empyrean Stone's power has slowly been waning. It's De Steel sapping the stone's energy, and one day, she plans to return. I made it my mission to prevent that day from coming. That's why I left Deluxia. You left without even saying goodbye. I cried for a whole month. I'm sorry, Solange. So why did you join her army? On my travels, I heard many rumors. Queen Destiny's powers were said to be unmatched and almost unworldly. I had a feeling she might be connected to the Fallen Angel, so I joined her army's ranks. Yeah, destroy your enemy, help your enemy, same thing, right? When they figured out my true intentions, the Queen put a mind control spell on me. Could have been worse. At least she didn't kill you. Was that her spell that we fought? The Guardian Code? Yes. And it is no mortal spell. I'm convinced now. The Queen is De Steel. What? You are blowing my mind! You might be correct about the Queen. Only the gods have the power to impart codes on mankind. Queen Destiny has the power of a god. She is no ordinary human. And with the stone's power, she will be reborn. So now you see. We must destroy the Queen now before De Steel returns. I know you can do it, Solange. W why me? Only a relic like the Deluxe Caliber can harm De Steel, and only you can wield it. That's your fate. The gods have blessed you with a code of your own. The Code of Princess. Oh, that's the name of the game! If that is my fate, then I accept it. What's happening? She is summoning more monsters. The final battle draws near. The Queen is still in the capital. We need to get back to Heliodor Castle. What's happening? The stone's pulling us in. I can't move. More monsters are on their way. Come forth, sweet destruction. My resurrection is near. Aren't you overdoing it a bit? That's a lot of monsters. Yes, and as they are defeated, those peasants will worship us. Um, I don't think we have the manpower to fight them all. Oh well. Forsooth, my queen is not whom she professes to be. Something must be done about this. 
Something about which I might be just the man to do. What about the sword, Alchemia? I need its power to preserve my beauty for all eternity. It would be a shame to lose such a beautiful body.